Welcome to your weekly general aviation news update. And this week we have three stories for you. The Mental Health Committee has issued recommendations to the FAA. The NTSB warns of dust devils. And then lastly, controllers have been credited with uh, hypoxia safe. Let's get to it. First up, the Mental Health Aviation Ruling Committee has issued a recommendation that pilots should be allowed to get talk therapy from professionals without needing to disclose that information on their medical certificate application. Uh, the ARC, if you're not familiar, uh, has been put together by the FAA to issue recommendation regarding uh, pilot mental health. The report also discusses the current culture within the aviation industry that contributes to medical disorders not being disclosed, including fear of job and income loss reputation loss, or potential prosecution. Now, along with the culture, the report also discusses trust level between the pilots and the controller uh, with the FAA and also with the Aviation Medical Examiners, AME. The, in total, the report is 164 pages long, including figures, and then a total of 24 recommendations for the FAA. Now, the FAA said they have received the report and that they are in the process of reviewing it. Uh, we'll keep you updated if anything else more comes out of this. Now, don't get too excited. Uh, I've seen a lot of ARC recommendations over my time uh, in aviation on the drone side and on the airplane side, and uh, quite often, they just end up being recommendations. Sometimes the FAA follows them, so we'll see what what happens here, but I think it's a positive step forward uh, for something that's extremely broken at the moment. Next up, the NTSB has issued a safety alert for dust devils. Now, dust devils have been present in 170 aviation accidents since 1982, and they can pose a serious risk to small aircraft. Now, the small swirling vortex, if you've ever seen them, they're typically 100 to 300 feet wide and then about 1,000 feet tall. Uh, the speed inside of them can exceed 60 miles per hour, and they're most commonly found in the southwest of the United States. Uh, we have a ton of them here uh, in Arizona. The NTSB says that the dust devils are typically invisible and can result in uncommended roll or yaw and uh, also can include loss of lift. So should you encounter one of those, make sure that you report it to ATC so they can guide people out of the way. Finally, a great story coming out of Boston where two controllers have been credited with a hypoxia safe. Uh, their name is Rosella Owens and Scott Elms, and they were controlling a Cessna 310 on a photo mission at 13,500 feet when they noted that the pilot wasn't really as responsive as most of the other pilots in that very congested airspace. Owen asked if the pilot was okay and if he was on oxygen, to which he replied that he was. Uh, the controller still wasn't sure, so they determined that his performance didn't really match the level of experience that uh, he had as a pilot, and then they directed him to descend to 9,000 feet. Uh, upon descending, it sounded like the radio calls were getting clearer and sharper every time. That's a quote. The pilot actually found later that there was a kink in the oxygen line. So a great job on those two controllers for uh, kind of sticking with it and with their gut feeling and uh, probably saving this guy's life. Now, as a final note, we'll be at Sun and Fun next week. So if you're in the Lakeland area, uh, make sure that you come visit us. Our booth is LD4. Uh, meet the team, watch the air show, have a great uh, time and uh, getting some uh, free stuff also that we have available at the booth. So hope to see you there. If not, you have a great week and we'll see you next week. Lima Delta 4. Lima Delta 4.